Lately, Hori's been acting kind of cold towards me. Did I do something wrong? Okay, so what do you mean when you say he's been cold? For one, he doesn't pay as much attention to me. Mm -hmm. He goes straight home when club's over. Oh. And he won't answer any of my calls either! I'll tell you what the problem is. He's totally not into you. You need to push even harder. And if he tries to avoid you, do everything you can to make that impossible. <sighs> Ashima has really been on my nerves lately. That's it for today. Okay. okay. Oh, wow. I didn't know you carried Nozaki's work around with you. Uh-huh. I use it for reference when I'm working on my backgrounds. Yeah, well, what if you lost your bag and someone saw that? I'm sure people would make fun of you. Yeah, well, I never go anywhere without my bag. I won't lose it. Yeah, I guess so. Yo, Hori! Kashima's running away again! What? <laughs> Huh? Wait a second, what is this doing in here? Let's fall in love. Ah, oh, it's nothing. I'm sure he just feels like reading something different for a change, that's all. There's probably no harm in flipping through it real quick, right? Oh, man, is he taking notes? Uh, okay, then. Maybe it's not even his. Dear God, what is happening? Hash him up! <laughs> I told you not to skip class! I couldn't help buying one myself. Shoujo manga, huh? Hey, it's Let's Fall in Love. Uh, you know about this? Yeah, I have a copy myself. What is this? The Bible for teenage boys? FYI, those flowers on page 132 are called marsh marigolds. In the language of flowers, it translates to happiness will come to you. He memorized the whole thing. So what's the story about? Hmm. An average girl falls in love with this really popular guy, so she does everything she can to win his heart. Then, one day, the hero looks right at her and says, You've completely knocked me off my feet. There's no doubt in my mind that our love was written in the stars. From now on, I will protect you with my life, my sweet Cinderella. Goodness, you're trembling. Are you afraid? You look so cute when you pretend to be so tough, my sweet Bambino. <laughs> All too easy. Don't do that! You're supposed to be sympathizing with Monaco, not trying to outdo the guy! You're doing it wrong! Is that what Hori does? I was worried sick about you, Mamiko. Suzuki is so cool. So 
if I'm sympathizing with the girl, that means I'm supposed to have a crush on this guy like she does? Yeah, pretty much. Because he's a nice person, he's super good looking, he's intelligent, and he's really good at sports. Is that it? Now you're getting it. Okay, then why doesn't Hori like me? It doesn't make any sense! It might be because you freak out a lot. I don't get it, though. Do guys really get something out of reading this? No, Nozaki! Hmm? You know what this is? Yeah. Well, whenever you read it, how do you feel, honestly? So, uh, how do I feel? I forgot to apply that screen tone! I still need to find a way to reveal that subplot. Well, now, I'm not really sure how I like this transition. <laughs> <laughs> I feel overwhelmed with anxiety and regret every time, but I think I'm starting to get better about it. And each time I see it, I'm reminded that in the end, there's love. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Okay, as soon as the prince comes out, I want you to gradually dim the lights. The next scene takes place at nighttime, so we're gonna need a filter. If he's not interested in the hero, Maybe he secretly wishes he was the heroine. I'm pretty sure the nighttime doesn't seem like in a that's the reason. The room. Or, or maybe it's uh Uh Hori! Could you run some lines with me? Yeah, sure thing. Princess, I am not worthy of such praise. My prince, when you held out your hand for me just now, uh he's extraordinary, I thought. I feel even so when he's playing a girl, he doesn't seem all that much different. And so, this is great. Kashima's actually motivated to work at this. And if it pleases you, do visit me again, my dear. I shall never forget you. Why is he so happy? Kashima! What you up to, girl? Oh, can I be the princess, uh, please? What? Not her. Did you guys already pick who gets the part? Uh, we haven't decided yet. I want to do it! Whatever, you're gross. Hey! I this said it is first. a closed so rehearsal, you know. <gasps> That's absurd. Why did that amateur get to do it? I wanted... No, I deserve to play the heroine. I'm sorry, but I don't want Hori to be jealous. Poor guy. Jealous? What are you trying to say? Honestly. And here I thought you were finally getting serious. You do this every single time. Hori! Hmm? Which skirt do you like better, long or short? They're both nice. Huh? Oh. Is she trying to say she's tired of always playing the man? She is a girl, after all. Well, n neither of those will work on stage, but your uniform skirt is rather nice. Oh, Hori, I gotta tell you, I think Kashima wore your uniform pants home! Dear Hori, you can wear my skirt instead. What the hell did I do to you? Kashima! Okay, we've decided on the cast list. Does anybody want to say anything? Me! Hmm? Uh, what now, Kashima? You don't want to be the prince? Over the past few days, I've come to understand Hori's dream. Uh... And I have to make sure that dream comes true. I nominate President Hori to play the princess! <laughs> Hmm, you look even more beat up than you usually do. Yeah, well, sometimes you gotta go the extra mile to do the right thing. And I'd do it again. When are you gonna stop making Hori mad? Don't you ever learn? Uh, he's just doing that to hide his feelings for me. He's a complicated person. I'm the only one who understands what's on his mind. I don't know what happened, but Kashima hates me now. She won't stop harassing me. Like, what kind of harassment do you mean? Huh? I thought this would look nice on you. Please take it. I have a skirt for you today. No. And shoes. Ah! Try some accessories. And then when I put it all together, it was really well coordinated. She's so awesome. I have no clue why this makes her more appealing to you. Uh...
Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun. Manga writers have lots of different ways of assigning background work to their assistants. Mm, man, this is tricky. What's up, Hori? Are you having a hard time creating the backgrounds? Well, it's just these instructions. They're not very specific. Huh? Hmm. Somewhere at school. Something relevant. A nice kind of atmosphere. The teacher's there, so maybe it's the teacher's lounge? But there's a few students, too, so it might be a hallway. Nozaki! Man, this is bad. Maybe it would be faster for us to ask him instead of just trying to guess. Nozaki! Hmm? Ah, yes, this one here. I think either a classroom or near the gym lockers. Hmm? Actually, the next scene happens in the gym. Oh, well. Either way, they're definitely at school. Whatever. This'll do just fine. I think I get it. There's a door there, so Suzuki comes walking through. Yeah, yeah, and then Mamako comes out of the classroom, right? Okay, uh, that sounds like it makes sense. Let's do it. I'm really sorry to do this to you, but uh, there's a lot of backgrounds this time. That figures. Is it gonna be too much work? We can help you out. Oh, no, I I it's fine. I think I can manage. Uh, yeah, Hori. We're terrible! Uh, it really is okay. I can handle it. Hori's right. He's the only one who's any good at it. And the rest of us are abysmal, so there's really no point. I can't disagree with that. How did you manage to go pro with such a weakness like that? You'd think that would really be a setback. Oh, I was just really good at finding new ways to avoid having to draw backgrounds. Like when I won the Hopeful Award. The Award of Excellence. And even my debut. Can't you just learn to draw backgrounds? Well, the backgrounds aren't necessarily our biggest problem. You mean there's something worse? See for yourself. What should I do? I'm sitting so close to Suzuki, my right shoulder's starting to get all hot. Hmm? Okay, I give up. What's so problematic about it? Oh, just keep reading. Here. Huh? Not in a place like this. <laughs> hey, stop picking on us. Let's come here just the two of us next time. Suzuki? Wait, Wait a, a second. second. Are, Are they, they constantly, constantly switching, switching their, their seats? seats? You have no idea how impossible that was to work around. Well, why didn't you just let the editor take care of it? Yeah, I don't think so. Mino doesn't notice these kind of things. He's the worst editor ever! Isn't that kind of his job? Hey! But now you've got that Mr. Ken guy, right? I'm pretty sure he would pick up on a mistake like that. No, I can't show Ken something like this. It's embarrassing! Oh, come on! Now's probably a good time for you to try drawing some backgrounds. Here, they're in the backyard. Just do whatever, as long as it makes sense. Hori, how dare you say that? If I do it, then I'm doing it right. I won't fake it. Huh? Okay. He's serious about his job. I'll give him that. I'll finish. What? Why is Suzuki floating? Fine, I'll fix it. I'm starting to lose faith in you. Come on now. Isn't Suzuki a little short? No. Mamiko's standing on the box in that scene. Now he looks too tall. Yeah, he's on the box now. Mazaki. Right. All the other girls are standing on the box there. Ah, forget about the box. What kind of person carries a box everywhere they go? Ah, fair enough. Perhaps if I include an explanation. There's nothing I like better than carrying boxes around. It's the best. Lose the box! How do you handle backgrounds? Is there a trick to it? Huh? Like for a still life. Hmm. Well, I usually just kind of draw what I see. Besides that... Oh, I know! Why don't you take some photos and use them as a reference? That's a great idea. Maybe that'll minimize Hori's workload. Mm-hmm. Let's go take a few right now. So, where are they in this scene? Um, that one is... Hang on, I'll go ask Hori. 
I hope this works. Photos, huh? Interesting. Sure, I, I don't mind taking a few. Okay, Nozaki, you're Suzuki. Chio, you can be Mama. Huh? This is just like a couple getting their picture taken. Uh. Oh God, I sure hope I can be a good mommy go. I can't get her in the shot. Since I'm not as tall, maybe I should do it. Okay, as long as you don't mind. I guess I'll take the pictures. So what do you think? Yeah, looks good. Hold on. The height difference and the positioning are fine, but something's off. Just a little taller. Wait! I've got it! Again with the stupid box! Wow, certainly sounds like a good time. I know! Why don't you come with us, Kashima? Would you please? Uh, uh -huh. I don't know what else to do at this point except look for examples from some of the older chapters. First, I need a hallway. Hurry! <laughs> it's that girly book again! Look how obsessed he is with it. Right there! Hey, look at this! Yeah. What's he showing him? You'll just need to copy this as closely as you can. You can do it. Okay. He wants to be held like a princess? What? You're gonna stay over tonight? Looks like it. Is the deadline really that bad? Nah, we're just getting ahead. We do this every now and then. <laughs> you do it a lot then. Hmm? Uh, yeah, I guess. Hmm. Look, Nozaki, I can do backgrounds now! You're so useful. Spend the night with me. My lap's right here if you need to rest. Listen, Hori, I need to learn how to draw backgrounds. Teach me! I wish Nozaki was half as enthusiastic as you. Don't you think we should find out what happened that day? No, we must find out what happened. I don't want to know what happened. He abandoned us because he cares not about our village. Don't you see? That's all there is to it. I'm telling you, I saw the whole thing. The night of the full moon, everyone gathered in the church at the edge of the village. They were digging a hole. Giovanni, you know you and the other children were prohibited to go out that day. We've got more important things to think about. Now please, tell us. Giovanni, they were gathered around. It was quite a large hole, big enough to fit a grown man inside. Uh, uh sorry. Maybe it's time for a little break? Uh, Hori, hmm? you're looking pale. Do you want to take a nap in the nurse's office? Oh, no. I'm fine. Just tired. Ugh. I stayed up way too late at Nozaki's. Ugh, I can't reach it. Here, use this. Huh? What did I say about the frickin' box? Dude, Hori, this is no time to be loafing off. Look at this guy, he's totally passed out. We should take him to the nurse. Somebody help me pick him up. Uh, um, do you guys mind if maybe I carry him? Are you sure? <sighs> Always acting goofy around him, but she really does like him, doesn't she? Here you go, Hori. You finally get to be held like a princess. <sighs> nope, she just wants to embarrass the poor guy. <sighs> Those guys don't get it. You're squashing his manhood! Hori would love to be picked up and whisked away. Don't worry, Hori. If I can't be your Prince Charming, then I'm more than happy to be your valiant horse instead. Huh? Hmm. Is that a cow? It's a bull. Dang it! I could have sworn this was a horse head! <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> What's that? Is the rodeo in town? Sweet. Hey, Mr. Heffer, thank you for uh, carrying me to safety. <gasps> Who are you anyway? Huh? Oh, really? <sighs> you didn't know? It's me. Cory, <gasps> <sighs> what's wrong? Okay, I'll do your backgrounds forever. But in the next story that you do, there has to be a prince who turns into a bull. That's fine, but... a bull? And make it one to remember. A bull. You do something with your hair? You're looking extra cute today, princess. Oh, Kashima! You seem lonely. Would you like me to keep you company? What do you say? Oh, Kashima! Kashima? Can we go to a different cafe today? Yeah, can we maybe get crepes? Mmm, that sounds great. That place the other day had good crepes. You want to go there? Yeah! I can't wait! So, Hori, did you think that Kashima was a boy when you first met? At least for a second or two? Uh, well, let me think here. When did I meet Kashima? You would make a great leading man. Yeah? You mean it? You can go change now. Okay. What? I didn't know you were a girl. Ha, <laughs> yeah. I was totally surprised. It was freaking crazy. It really took you that long to notice? Do you have enough excitement in your life? Do you? Of course. Nothing's more exciting than my deadlines. Is that it? Oh, and when Ken criticized my manuscript, I was trembling. Did you say trembling? Next time. Do you have enough excitement? I can't wait. <laughs>